And thanks, Austin. I think you were going to talk a little bit about the OnePlus event, weren't you, that, that happened last week? Yeah, so the OnePlus event was this OnePlus uh, had a summer launch event. It happened on the 10th of June. And the only things launched in this event was a TV. Like there were, there was just one TV, but it had several sizes. It is very nice TV and the phone. I don't even feel like talking about the Nord CE, but let's talk about the TV first. So the TV is a 4K TV. It's an Android TV running Android 10. It comes in 50 inches and 45 inches. I don't know if the products will come to the US or what, but I know that the products will come to Europe and they are definitely in India. And uh, it's a good TV, but I don't know. I just felt like this event was just marketing and nothing else. We have this color, this gamut, this uh, display, speak now technology. What they did is they, they just renamed OK Google to speak now and they then promoted it as a new technology. So we had all that going on the event, on the TV launch. It was all marketing. Then they launched the phone and the phone was, the phone is good, but it has a 750 Snapdragon 750 CPU. It has 128 and 256 GB of storage. It starts from 23,000 Indian rupees. It's a 5G phone, but it's just for namesake. The worst part is it comes with just one 5G band, and that's it. But uh, people say in Europe, it has many 5G bands. But in India, it just comes with one. So I don't know. From the time um, Carl Pay left OnePlus, they're just going downhill, and all the OnePlus fans are just fed up of their moves raising prices, giving one 5G band or two 5G bands. And we thought, you know, they would upgrade. They would add 5G bands after after software update. But then they came out and said for the OnePlus 9, 9 Pro that, no, we, we are not going to do that. So that is the biggest um, disaster that OnePlus has done. And I was the OnePlus fan. I had the OnePlus 60. I had the OnePlus 7 Pro and the OnePlus Nord original. But the OnePlus Nord original is going to be the last OnePlus that I'll be having unless they come around and, you know, give a good amount of bands. I'm not saying give all the bands possible, but phones like Realme and Xiaomi, they're giving six, seven bands in price range of 15,000. So that is all for the OnePlus event. What do you think about the event? Uh, yeah, I thought I thought it was a bit underwhelming as well in terms of in terms of the phone. Um, I know I know the Nords, the sort of well, not budget at that price, but but the lower end. But yeah, I thought it was a bit underwhelming. Is there anything that a user can do to unlock more five G bands, or is that something that OnePlus has to enable? That is OnePlus has to enable. Users There's cannot no do anything. Work around. No. No, you can't. Uh, it has to come from the company. And I think that at this point, you know, if they didn't include those radios in there, I don't know what they can do software-wise. The only yeah. thing good about OnePlus Nord was what, that they bought back the headphone jack. <laughs> That's all the good thing that they did. Yeah, but I mean, every mid-ranger out there has a headphone jack. And for them to say, hey, we're bringing the headphone jack, yeah, actually, they're led to the party. I do like the hardware on the, on, on the OnePlus, the alert yeah. slider, the speed, the responsiveness. It's pretty It's pretty good. It blows out the, my yeah. mid-range Samsung, certainly. I like, I like the fact that they have that you know, a slider there to silence the phone. I wish every phone manufacturer would do that. I think that would yeah. be really cool. Also, another thing that happened for the Samsung fans, this is little critical news. They have found some serious security vulnerabilities in Knox and other Samsung apps. So... We'll have the link of that article also in the show notes. So be aware of these flaws that they have found recently. Thanks, Austin, for that timely warning.